I'm Ben Stanger. I'm the director of the Pancreatic Cancer Research Center at the University of Pennsylvania. This is a conference that's really been growing in popularity over the last few years. In fact, so much so that AACR has decided to make it an annual conference. And I think that that really reflects the energy and the momentum that we feel is building in this field that deserves uh, the attention of an annual meeting. So as the program committee, we've tried to pack a lot into this three-day meeting. We have uh, uh, really exciting topics in all areas of pancreatic cancer research, uh, from metabolism to immuno-oncology to the tumor microenvironment. We have a balance of exciting clinical research and basic translational research, and we've tried to make the program accessible and inclusive of investigators at all stages of research. Younger researchers can really get exposure to cutting edge science, interact with senior mentors. We have set aside uh, mentorship breakfasts where those uh, young investigators can get career advice and also talk about their science with leaders in the field. So we've really placed an emphasis on making this integrated and open venue for scientists at all stages of career. In terms of breakthroughs or exciting things that people can expect to see, I look around at other cancer types and see the amazing things that are happening with immunotherapy and I want to understand uh, how we can make immunotherapy work for pancreatic cancer. So I think that's a great opportunity and I think we're learning a lot that will help us uh, move that area forward. I think as well because of the unique nutrient deprived and oxygen deprived microenvironment of pancreatic cancer, we have opportunities there. These cancer cells have figured out a way to deal with uh, what we often term an arid microenvironment, a desert-like uh, situation, and that probably creates vulnerabilities where certain drugs would, uh, would enable us to attack the cancer. We have a session uh, devoted to innovative clinical trials and trying to think about combination therapies that may work, and we're focused on changes in the cancer cells themselves genetic changes and so forth that may make certain tumors vulnerable. So those are some of the areas that I'm most excited about. The American Association for Cancer Research has had an extraordinary impact on pancreatic cancer advances. Um, in many ways, it's the glue that holds together all of the different parts of the community, from pharma to academia to the foundations that fund the research and the, and the NCI. Pancreatic cancer is the third leading cause of cancer death in the United States, and the statistics are you know, rather poor. However, there has been real tangible progress in the last 10 years or so. The survival rate, the five-year survival rate for pancreatic cancer has gone from about 5% to about 9%, and that's due to the advent of combination chemotherapy, combining drugs together that are allowing some patients to live longer. We're learning more about improving survival rates following surgery. What can we do around surgery with adjuvant types of chemotherapies or neoadjuvant chemotherapies that can be given before surgery that might improve the outcome rates? We are learning what makes each tumor different, so-called precision medicine, and we find that in some patients with certain types of mutations, mutations involving how the cell repairs DNA damage, that those patients are particularly responsive to a certain class of drugs. So little by little, we're certainly understanding how different cancers can be attacked therapeutically and making progress, and I think that that's only going to accelerate in the future.